care team, and I'm excited to give you a quick tour on how Bulb integrates with the Canvas Learning Management System. So get us started, I wanted to quickly explain um, kind of the core functionality of Canvas as a learning management system and then Bulb as a digital portfolio and how they work together. So Canvas is really that classroom management tool. As a teacher, you can communicate to your students through Canvas. You can set assignments and provide resources to your students and your students can complete work and turn it back in through Canvas. And then as a teacher, you are able to um, see who's turned in work, be able to view that work, grade that work, um, provide feedback. Bulb as a digital portfolio platform is really a place where students show their process and their understanding of learning. It's where they actually do the work. They're building a portfolio that really represents their skills and ultimately tells their story um, and allows them to be able to leverage that portfolio for the future. Because Bulb is something that students take with them from year to year and eventually once they graduate as well. So they'll be able to have a portfolio of work that they can showcase and a portfolio of work that shows their growth and process over time. So let's dive into Canvas. This is my Canvas dashboard. Now yours may look slightly different, but the concept should be pretty much the same. When I open up my ELA course, I have a menu of quick link items on the left hand side. This is a great place to add Bulb and any other external tools that students might needing, um, be needing for their class. And it's really easy to be able to do this. If you simply go to settings, there's a menu up here, course details, sections, and under navigation, it shows what that left-hand menu will look like. And down below here, there may be several external apps that are associated and set up by your school district technology team. Bulb should be one of them. That's something that your school district will set up for you ahead of time. And so all you do is simply click, drag, and drop Bulb into that menu. And you can organize it in any way. You could have it on the top or have all your tools at the bottom so that it shows up in that menu. Click Save. Now when I go back to the home of that course, I now see Bulb here. Now that I have the Bulb um, quick link on this menu, when I click on Bulb here, it will launch and single sign me into my Bulb portfolio with inside the Canvas platform. So this is fully functioning bulb. It's the same bulb as if you were using it in a different tab or a different web browser window. Um, I can create content and publish content um, on my bulb portfolio right here from the Canvas platform. And so many times teachers use bulb as a place to put together bold pages of resources. So maybe it's videos and articles and questions that you want students to be thinking about and you're um, wanting to share those resources with your students via Canvas. Or one of our most popular ways to use Bulb as a teacher is to create templates. So I have this page on my portfolio and this is a template that I've created to have my students reflect on uh, their upcoming school year, the past school year, and some of the goals that they have. And so I want to assign this to my students. And the way I'm going to do that is simply by publishing my bold page. So I'm gonna come up here to publish. And the best way to publish within Canvas is to create a private share link. So once I create that link, I'm going to click on this blue clipboard to copy that link. If this is a template that I want my students to copy into their own portfolio, I'm gonna make sure that I click the checkbox Save as Template, and then click Publish. All right, now my bold page is published. I've copied that private share link, and I'm simply gonna go up to my assignments, and I'm gonna create a new assignment for this course. and provide some instructions for my students. And 
And then I'm gonna paste in, by just um, control V, pasting in that URL of that private share link for that bulb template page. Now when I come down here, I have the ability to assign how many points that I want it. And under submission type, I like to choose online website URL here. I can assign it to everyone, I can create a due date, and then save and publish. So now my students have easy access to completing this assignment that I had created a bulb template for. If you don't want to use a template and you're just providing resources for them, you can just paste in the URL to the resource page and not click the save as template icon on that publish modal. So now I want to show you how easy it is to grade bulb pages um, within the Canvas platform as well. So if I come over here to assignments, I have this Renaissance assignment where I have students that have already submitted my work and I want to um, activate my speed grader. So you notice now I have speed grader and bulb shows up within this iframe and there's this hyperlink right here in this um, kind of processing menu. All I simply do is click on the link and it's gonna pull up Madison's bulb page and then I'm able to read the page. I can leave a grade. I can leave comments in um, in the bowl, or excuse me, in the Canvas platform, or or I can simply leave comments within the bold platform as well. I can highlight text or media. Make sure your screen is wide enough so you have room for the comment menu to show up on the left hand side. If it's too narrow, it'll bump that comment um, piece to the bottom. But I'm gonna make sure that my screen's wide enough and now I can leave a comment that lives in bulb and students will get notifications within their bulb portfolio that you have left them feedback within the bulb profile. So you can have your comments live in Canvas, your grades live in Canvas, or your comments and feedback live in bulb. And I can simply submit that and then go on to my next student and view their work. Hi students. I'm going to show you how you're going to use your Bulb Digital Portfolio platform along with your Canvas Learning Management System. So remember, Bulb is your digital portfolio. It's a place where you can create work, showcase your ideas through multimedia, and it's a portfolio that you get to take with you from year to year, and even if you leave school or when you graduate. So this is a portfolio of your work. But you can turn in Bulb pages within the Canvas Learning Management System. So I'm in Canvas right now, and I'm gonna open up one of my classes. And your teacher will have added Bulb as a quick link to this course navigation menu. And when you click on Bulb, this will single sign you into your Bulb portfolio within the Canvas platform. This is the same Bulb platform as if you were using it on a different device or if you had Bulb opened up on a different tab or web browser window. You can edit and um, use this portfolio just like you would. You'll notice I'm logged in right here as Sophia. And depending on the assignment, you may be creating a page from scratch or you may be copying a template in for your assignment. So if you're creating a brand new page, you just simply click Create Page and you can title it and you can add text or media if you need to take a picture from um, some work that you had handwritten or a video that you had taken to showcase some of your skills you would simply click image or video and be able to upload those pictures easily from google photos or from your mobile device your google drive OneDrive, or grab images from your web search once you've designed your page and it's ready to turn in 
all changes are saved, but it is not published and no one can see this page. So you need to come up here and click publish and create a private share link. Now you're gonna click this blue clipboard right here to easy, easily copy this private link. Then make sure you hit publish at the bottom of the modal. Now that you have your page link copied, you'll go into your assignments and you'll submit that link in that website URL box right here to submit your bold page assignment. Now if your teacher has created a template for you, you need to first make sure that you've clicked the Bulb logo so that you're signed into your Bulb account. That will allow you to be able to copy the template. You're going to go to your assignments. You're going to open up the assignment and the teacher is going to provide you with that template link. It will take you to that template page and you're simply going to scroll down to the bottom of the page and in the black footer of the page there's an icon that says use template. That will make a copy of the template into your portfolio. You'll notice it here showing up on my profile page. If I don't see it just quickly, quickly hit refresh in your web browser and it should show up. I can click drag and drop and organize it into any of my collections on my portfolio as well. Now when I open up that page, it is my copy. So I'm able to come in here and make edits, add media, audio, files, embedded URLs and presentations, videos and images. I also encourage you to change out your cover image for any template page and customize that cover image. Web search is really a great way to be able to personalize your pages. So once you've completed the page, now you can publish the page just like we did when we created a page from scratch. We're going to click here, publish and we're going to create that private share link for this particular page. See a private link, here's the clipboard. I'm gonna click on the clipboard. I'm gonna make sure that I officially publish it by clicking the blue publish in the bottom corner. And now I have my page URL copied and I'm gonna go into my Canvas assignment, click on submit assignment and paste in that link. Now my teacher is able to view my poll page and give me feedback on my page and I have noted that it has been submitted.